Hello, it's B. <clears throat> Welcome if you're new here. Welcome back if you're not. We're going to be continuing the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog today. Um, <laughs> I've already tried to record this once, but my computer froze on me. <laughs> I had to restart it. So, it does still say we're in the casino though, so that's good. Um, prior to me, prior to my computer freezing on me. This was the farthest that I've been in this game. Um, of course I did start playing and then my computer froze on me and now I have to restart. But that's okay. <laughs> Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Um, I got all the way to the conductor car and then it froze. So that was fun. <laughs> Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, what's going on? I see you made it here, Tails, but I didn't expect to see the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. After I thought about it for a while, Microwave chili dogs really don't sound that good. <laughs> because the bun, the bun would get all like soggy from the chili and the steam from being reheated in a microwave. It sounds disgusting, actually. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think a microwave chili dog would be very good. I'd probably still eat it. But I would much rather it be like, not microwaved. <laughs> I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. I'm not saying a thing. You all will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, B, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear B. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. Could you please tell us? No, wait. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. We'll hold you to it. Never mind. I'm so close to getting the scoop of the century, I can feel it. Presenting Big Chow Band. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Give us a jam. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell us tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you bring me a cool chaos cola? Hmm. Nope, not listening to me. I'm quite parched, too. I could run and get a chaos cola for you. Uh, no, I'll be okay. Thank you, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here, after all. B, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if somebody falls out? Or worse, someone leaps up. Leaps out. I just want you to do it. Open the wardrobe for tails. Alright, watch a pro. We should... Oh. I was gonna say... We should do it because we're supposed to keep these guys safe. All this dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. Hmm, tails. Do you see this? A pull string. B... What? It's gotta activate something. What the heck? No. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where it leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick. Back to the passage before they spot us. 
<coughs> I didn't even spot them. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passages added to your inventory. Hmm. A key ring? Must be shadows. The locksmith. Interesting. There's only two keys. I figure a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. Key ring is added to your inventory. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. The windows are huge. What a view. I didn't realize this train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. No, thank you. <laughs> if this train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. Um, I have the last of phobia, so I don't want to jump in the water. Because you can't really see what's under you. Um, the ocean's like really big and scary. <laughs> but, uh, actually sharks are my favorite animal. Uh, I really like the Requiem shark family and black tip reef sharks and that are in the Requiem family. And they're my favorite species in the Requiem family. They're cute and standoffish and skittish and introverted like me. <laughs> I love them. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic like singing a song. Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. Oh my god. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll quietly set this back on the printer. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems con convenient. I almost said confident. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Trash can. Tails. No... I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, B, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, B? There's always something in the trash bin. Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. I think we've found enough clues. Let's go inter interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. The stare. So cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. B, we certainly will not. Start interrogation. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train. Every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door on this train, and and I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly. We are ready. According to the map, the next train car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason, and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the other ones so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all, get out and leave me be. 
Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Speculous speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Sonic trapping- no, was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of thought, Amy. If Shadow did lock the doors to the conductor's car and printing Sonic, then how was he found in the dining car? Exactly. I think B and I can explain the car change, however. B, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? The hidden passage. Okay, just to get my thoughts in order. Let's move this down so it's not in the way of the screen. Whoops. Oh, fuck. and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived in the dining car. Excellent work, B. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shuttle murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to a station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Seems Tail and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. B, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles. That's true, Vector was with Knuckles, and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See, things are falling into place, but what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Espio reading at the library checked out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. <laughs> what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving me away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the door next for us. The next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps, B and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? B. What evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was given keys away? His key ring. That feels good. Now to get my thoughts in order. There's only one reason there is exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow did murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right, her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think B and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. 
why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just uh, Shuttle and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay, Just them just being here is enough. Understood, thank you, Amy. B? Ah, uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car, locking the exits. And he gave everyone stationed in the car the key. Except for you, me, and Amy. Yeah. That's right, the conductor gave Amy a birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? He wanted to keep us away. With Sonic? Nope. <laughs> <clears throat> With Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, B. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know, it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? B, show me evidence. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows what Shadow what didn't want Amy to know? Crumpled paper. That feels right. Phew, just organize my thoughts. Just some mad dodging. <clears throat> you went rooting through the trash. Yes. Oh, what is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't. This is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Would that have still been B if that wasn't my name? Yes, isn't it cute? I haven't gone to many of their shows yet. I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, box. <clears throat> the situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of Hot Honey Fans ticket website exists because... Shadow is buying tickets for Amy. <clears throat> what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to give me concert tickets for my birthday? I have done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this. After I accused you of murder? Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Oof. Probably our fault there. Sorry, that's all the detective's job is, I suppose. <laughs> when I arrived on, arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. Worried for my social status, I admittedly, nope, immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. 
This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw. The birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, your guests are so sweet, and after accusing you, too. How about this? Let's buy tickets later. And to make it up for you, you can come with me. I don't know if too late is happening. I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Lifetime. <laughs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors have finally reached the end. I blame my source for all of this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who is the source for your big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. B, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Zonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. I hope it doesn't freeze again. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. Conductor car. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor's car yet. It feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. A microphone. We can talk to the whole train with this. Hmm, should I say something? Start beatboxing. B, why are you reaching for the mic? <laughs> Just uh, offering our guests some musical entertainment. That would impress it, B. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice. The picture is really clear. I would watch a full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy birthday, Amy. That was so cute. The neck dabbing for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. The high quality screens probably didn't do, any, do that at any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. You know, I'm alright. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say, always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he decided to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. <laughs> Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand. Wife by your side. Paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his life. Damn. This robot arm's been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear it off. A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. Hmm, what's this? Was someone playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon down to this train. <gasps> hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapon on a passenger before letting them on board. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's talk to Amy and solve this once and for all. A vent. Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? Oh. The, uh, tails. Right. B. 
I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. Did they teach you how to drive it? Oh, no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true, you could drive this train flawlessly. Oh, guys. Okay, let's talk to Amy. Well, you two, you think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we needed a suspect. What do you think, B? Ready to solve this case? No! <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Birthday Girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea who's the murderer. <laughs> Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from B. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Rector. Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be re pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Uh oh. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amen um, uh, amenities. I feel so catered to. I think I almost said anemone, but amen... Amemony? <laughs> I... Either way, I fucked it up. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside of the mystery, Espio. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. <gasps> escape rooms sound so fun. My partner and I went on vacation a couple years ago. And was it a couple years ago or was it last year? Shit. I think it might have been last year. Um, We went on vacation and there was an escape room where we went, but we didn't do it because I didn't know it was there until we were <laughs> like, I didn't know it was there. So I didn't look it up either to see if it needed reservations or how far out they were booked. But it looked really fun. <laughs> I love escape rooms. Count me in. I'm so glad everyone here is having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train just to relax sometime? Ah, yeah, that'd be fun too. Oh no. Big scream. That's not good. What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? Mm-hmm. He's not responding to us. Sonic. What? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask you again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Same. We're going to figure out who... We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic? He really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm righting my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, B, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh my god, I don't know. <laughs> uh. I feel bad accusing any of them. Mad if it was Amy, though. That can't be right. Neither Tails or I could be the murderer. Ah, oh, that's right. Let me pick again. Who in this room did this? 
Okay. Um. Let me see. Hmm, I don't see it. Care to explain your reasoning? Oh, well, um, why are you. I'm following a spot like that's hard to explain. Maybe I'll pick someone else. Who in this room? Okay, so it wasn't. Rouge. What if we pick SBO? SBO, you were the one to murder Sonic. Weren't you? Oh, yeah, because he wasn't. <laughs> because he wasn't in the. In the library, Shadow said. I didn't know such thing, my young friend. What if it's a battle of wits you wish? I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library card reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, that's right. B, could you fill everyone in? What evidence? did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Vector's been asking protective. Vector's Espio's guard dog. It's, excuse me, it's canon. <gasps> oh, stop. <laughs> we discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have left the library card any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library card the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exists behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would SBO avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question, but I think B and I can explain that too. B, how did SBO know everything in the trade manual he was reading? He's a poet, so a quick reader. Espio is a poet. I feel such a profession would make you quite the reader. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd, memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know, it is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He wants to speed write a book. I was reading just to spoil the end for me. Damn, that is fucking rude, man. You should never spoil a book for your friend. If I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the, in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How is I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How did Espio even know it was there? You said to yourself, kid, you were lucky to even find the passage. B and I might not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does. B. Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Shadow? No? They told us we could see something later. Was that Amy? No? Mm, they told us we can see something later. And now's the time to take a look. Who told us that? Who the hell? Was that Knuckles? Oh my god. No? Fuck. <laughs> I don't remember. Um. Was it? <gasps> no, it was Rouge. That's right. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout out for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added to your inventory. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used it to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those imp those blueprints? I almost said imprints. <laughs> <laughs> you imprinted on my daughter? You named my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> what makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, B, do you have an answer for him? How could SBO have seen those blueprints?
Espio found them before. Rouge. Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? The library card. It was stuffed with the brochures. I took the saloon card first and found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. <coughs> In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With the enemy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but B and I have evidence of how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure of how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but B and I have evidence on how it was done. Do we? <laughs> Tails, tell me. I don't know what it is. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Oh, fucking. It was a fucking dart. Oh, okay. Not <laughs> anymore. Anytime anything enters my memory, it exits like three seconds later. I don't fucking know, dude. Okay, let me try again. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> This flutter was found here in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. So you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Shoot, that's a good point, but Tails was onto something. I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Me and I know another way it could have been done. We do? What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? Uh, I assume the blueprints. All right, now it's my argument. We're getting closer. B, think, think, be think. Shit. <laughs> Big oof. <laughs> Let's give it another try. Let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did it take? Did he take Sonic there? There's a patch above the conductor's car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. You mean like the vent? Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to the blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. <laughs> There's a path back here. And a track. A track, huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent <clears throat> and took him to the dining car? Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. 
How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? He broke out an arm. That's it. Like, he just tore it out. You're caught, Espio. There's nothing you can do here. Oh, shit. Fuck. <coughs> Fuck. this one? No, I didn't. Okay, let's try that again. Oh no, I gotta try this again. Yeah, that's why I just say it. Shit! Fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> I think that was worse than last time. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck. Why did I- oh my god. Can you come pick me up? I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Getting so frustrated with myself. <laughs> Oh my god, it's... <laughs> like, it's not that hard. I should be able to do this. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like that took way too many tries. <laughs> Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here and one of those ro arm robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track on the robot arms that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easily, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. 
I might not be able to link everything directly to Espio yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us who that scoop came from. Tails. You're right. Espio lied to me. <gasps> Espio told me Sonic was lost. Shadow. <laughs> Espio told me Shadow was locking the door to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. What? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage? Ah. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car and lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stood out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. Oh, look, that's me! It was you, Espio. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Aw, oh, the baby! He's okay. Don't worry. Hey, guys. Sonic, you're okay! Sonic, just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Oh, no, look at him. Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though. Really? It's not a lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. <laughs> me. Every single day. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train to Badnik. <gasps> Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. Oh, A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad neck. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was a blow dart from Espio. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Evil hands. Hey, stop what you were doing. Wait, hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off with off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed you was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. The conductor screamed as the arm approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it got to me. So where's the conductor? <laughs> oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> the situation's gotten so serious. Why would you just not just tell us? I thought that's how the murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. Use this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal lethal sleeping engine. Thank you again for the m choosing the Mirage Express staff. <gasps> See? What is that? It says, use this- I just read it out loud. Oh no. 
What is this? Instructions? I was given the blood art along with that card. It's signed staff. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who has instructed those arms to attack? Well, if it's if it's a Dr. Eggman like machine, then it was probably Dr. Eggman. Who or what? B, do you think attack Sonic and Who do you think attack Sonic and hand us the blue dart? The train itself. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture. And for a good while. So I think the train itself is plotting something. <laughs> First we learned the train to bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering on our murder mystery game. Train. <laughs> Amy's so mad at the train. Come out and show yourself. Amy, it's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come here, there's gotta be a better- there's gotta be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? Oh no. They made him an angry train. What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Yeah, I can get down. Don't touch him. <gasps> Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I am taking all of you to Eggman's base. Where you will rot. Eggman. After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games. Ride the open rails like we always planned. What are you- The train is gonna take the conductor away from his wife? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which of, the but which of these buttons turn the trains off? Whoa. Sonic. Haha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. I can't keep my footing. Damn. We really fell over. I don't know how long this is going to take. A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. <laughs> my head. Tails. Amy? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the, train's arm, the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me? I feel terrible. <laughs> yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Sonic's just as cool as everyone says. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Okay. I think that's where we'll end the video today. We've already gone a little bit over the time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to comment, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the little notific notification bell that we will get up notified every time I upload a new video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!